Hey everybody, it is uh, almost 2 p.m. Monday, October 17th. Um, I am uh, working nights tonight, so I'm just sitting on my porch with uh, Booba and enjoying the beautiful fall weather. Uh, it's about 57 degrees, uh, not a cloud in the sky, uh, just a beautiful day. Uh, the leaves are changing. It's really, really pretty. Um, there's this tree right down the street that's just like lime green uh, and an orange. It's really cool. Uh, anyways, it's been a long time since I uh, updated, almost two months to the day. So I uh, got a lot to catch up with, but a lot of great stuff's been going on the past couple months. Um, shortly after my last update, I went down to uh, Columbus, Ohio, which is only about a three, three and a half hour drive, um, and got to see my cousin Wendy get married and uh, see my family, and it was really nice, just a great weekend. Um, and uh, be outdoors and do some yoga with my mother, which was pretty neat. And uh, just a great weekend. Um, then I, uh, since then I started uh, in during the month of uh, September. I was doing vascular surgery, which I really lucked out with a great uh, chief resident who uh, was just phenomenal. Uh, had great hours. I got to operate a ton. Um, great attendings, didn't have to go to clinic that much, uh, just a great month. Um, we got to do a lot of, uh, my, one of my favorite uh, surgeries is uh, amputation, either below the knee or above the knee amputation, because um, I, I, as an intern, get to do a lot. Uh, I get to saw through the bone, I get to take down, uh, um, cut through um, the tissue, I get to ligate the arteries, I get to um, close up with some really interesting sutures. So. Really, really cool surgeries, and I got to do a bunch of those. Um, this month, uh, I'm on trauma surgery, which, while well, it may sound cool, as a, it's most of the nights when I'm on, during the day, all I do is manage the, run the floor, you know, write notes, follow up on patients' needs, etc., discharge patients, things like that. Every third night, our team, there's three teams, and every third night, our team's on call. Uh, usually, as an intern, you stay upstairs and run the floor like you, like you do during the day, and you may be able to get some sleep, usually not much, but sometimes you get to go down in the trauma bay and uh, take in trauma calls. Uh, I haven't gotten to do that yet. Well, I did it with one patient, but uh, he was already dead on arrival, um, gunshot wound, so there really wasn't anything interesting. But um, tonight, actually, I'll be on call in the trauma bay, so hopefully nobody comes in but uh, if they do it could be very interesting um, run some trauma codes put in some central lines etc probably do some chest compressions most likely um, but the beginning of the month actually I, I uh, went on vacation my buddy Rob um, from high school came up uh, to visit and uh, we went up north to the upper peninsula of Michigan and it was just beautiful we got to do some mountain biking up uh, up in the uh, on a, an island, it's a 22-mile uh, run or uh, uh, loop around an island that goes along the cliffs. It's just beautiful. The weather was amazing, 60s and sunny, uh, and we got to uh, hike along the Pictured Rocks cliffs, which are just beautiful in the forest there. And the weather was amazing, and the and the trees were just incredible. The fall was really nice season, um, so that was really nice. I will. Uh, Put the pictures. You'll see a link below in you, uh, the video, and you can click on those. Uh, outside of the hospital, I've uh, also been active um, with what's called the clusters. Uh, so the Jewish Federation has these uh, groups that are very are, are based. The the point of them is to uh, get people to be active in the Jewish community, but in a very easy way. So these are just really basic groups uh, based on a shared interest. So uh, there's two clusters that I'm part of. One of them I took over uh, called the Yoga Cluster. So we meet about once a month, uh, get like a volunteer uh, teacher coming. We all do some yoga or we check out a different um, uh, event that's going on with yoga. There was a uh, what's called Yoga in the Greenhouse last month that we participated in. Um, or check out a new studio. There's actually a studio you want to check out that overlooks the river, the, De the Detroit River there. Um, and on the, on the 12th or 18th floor or something, so it's supposed to be really amazing views. And then, um, uh, so that's the yoga cluster. There's other ones like the book club cluster, cards cluster, there's a food and drinks cluster, etc. 
But most recently, I started a cluster with a, another uh, person, this amazing uh, woman here called Nikki Fain, who is, uh, does, uh, is a yoga instructor and Pilates instructor, um, just a fantastic individual. So we started what's called the Detroit Empowerment Cluster. Uh, the tagline is to uh, empower people to rejuvenate themselves through healthy eating and movement. So half the group, half the time we're focused on uh, uh, exposing people to um, interesting healthy eating. Uh, so things like quinoa or wheat berries or uh, flaxseed or all kinds of things. Uh, so we do... Uh, cooking demos and recipe sharing and going out to healthy restaurants, uh, things like that, different healthy eating events. The other half is to get people exposed to different movements, such like, like yoga or uh, martial arts or Zumba or whatever, just different things that people may not get uh, exposure to. Uh, and so we try to meet about once a month at least um, to uh, combine both of those activities together. We had our first event the other night. We actually uh, went to a, a movie screening of the movie Simply Raw, Reversing Diabetes in 30 Days. Uh, it was a fantastic movie, really inspiring. Um, and then I also had a cooking demo at my house. I make granola bars, and I made some other foods, uh, very, very healthy, quick, easy foods to make. So uh, the group is just getting started. There's a lot of excitement about it, and uh, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, this At the end of this month, we're going to do a... Um, a martial arts demonstration uh, at this at this studio, and then also going to make sushi that night. So kind of combine the two uh, an Asian theme night. Um, yeah, so far I've been able to do both uh, or have an outside life in the hospital, but um, we'll see. I'm gonna taking it month by month. Uh, each month is different. Next month I also have trauma. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Booba's doing great. Um, the weather's been pretty great. It hasn't gotten too cold yet. I think in the next month it's going to start getting really chilly and uh, eventually start snowing. Um, that's about it. Hope everyone is doing well and I uh, look forward to hearing from some of you or all of you. Bye.